advanced embedded system design job oriented course hi i'm shiv kumar i founded maven silicon with the vision of producing highly skilled engineers for the semiconductor industry before founding maven silicon i worked in various fields fields like electrical engineering academia and semiconductors for more than 25 years In the semiconductor industry I worked for the top PDA companies Synopsys, Cadence and Siemens CDA. Maven Silicon is a top class VLSI and embedded systems training services company in India. We provide various VLSI and embedded system courses for academia and industry. Our journey started with training new college graduates on chip design. Continuing this incredible journey for more than 15 years. we have deployed more than 5000 chip designers in the semiconductor industry so far also in this journey we collaborated with tier 1 global chip makers and fabless ip companies as their preferred training partner and maven silicon has also been designated as an approved training partner by arm uk and risk five international usa and with this domain expertise we emerged as a center of excellence in vlsi and embedded systems for academia and industry in this video i am going to explain how we designed this advanced embedded systems design course and how it can help you to get your dream job in the industry all right basically maven silicon bridges the gap between academia and industry look at here You learn various concepts as part of your engineering course. That's what makes you qualified as an electrical or electronics engineer to work in the industry. So, what we do at Maven Silicon, we help you to grow as an experienced embedded systems programmer. How we do that? Look at here. We teach you various embedded systems technologies and programming methodologies. So, initially. we will teach you the processor architecture in the embedded space you will be dealing with various microcontrollers all these microcontrollers could be based on arm or risk five processor so you should be familiar with the processor architecture it's called instruction set architecture you will understand everything about the processor and then we will also make you familiar with interfaces and peripherals to deal with microcontrollers you should be familiar with interfaces like spi uart i squared c gpio and you should also be familiar with the peripherals peripherals like dma analog components components like adc and dac clock generators pls interrupts timers so once you become familiar with the microcontroller design process then you will be trained extensively on programming in this case embedded c programming also you will do various mini projects as part of this course so there will be a mini project for every major module that's how we designed this course and once you understand everything all the concepts then you will be introduced to the final project you will do an industry standard project while working on the project you will also deal with various things like tool chain emulators and hardware boards for example you are going to deal with arm soc system on a chip then you should be familiar with arm tool chain as part of the tool chain there could be various tools like compilers assemblers and debuggers you need to convert your software into machine language and while running the software you find some bugs you need to understand why the software is not working then you might want to look at everything in the processor why the software is not working that's going to be part of your debugging process so you do the final project and then you understand how we implement the software and then finally you will be introduced to a module called business communication module as part of this module you will be familiar with the interview process 
you will participate in uh, mock up interviews this will help you to gain the confidence confidence to face the tough technical interviews this is how we make you as an experienced embedded systems programmer at maven silicon also as part of this course you will get 6 months internship as part of this internship you will do various real time projects and that's how you are going to gain more experience we will make sure that you will have good projects in your resume and that's good for your interview also you will have placement assistance for one year so there will be multiple interview opportunities and that's how we can support you all right what are the skills needed for you to grow as an embedded systems programmer in the embedded systems space you will be dealing with two things one is actually the application development the other thing could be firmware development applications could be based on bare metal coding or real time operating system or linux and for both applications and firmware you will be dealing with software debugging and testing now let's explore the skill sets needed for you to grow as an experienced embedded systems programmer you should have a good programming expertise in c in this case embedded c assembly and scripting you should have good experience with rtos real time operating system and linux you should also be familiar with processors processors like arm and risk five instruction set architectures and you should also be familiar with microcontrollers how basically we build arm and risk five socs you should also be familiar with the hardware boards hardware boards that use all these microcontrollers and various uh, interfaces and peripherals and you should have good knowledge in various communication protocols protocols like uot spi i squared c can gpio and you should also be familiar with tool chains emulators hardware boards debug interfaces interfaces like jtag swd swd for arm this is how we designed this course you will go through various modules and languages initially you will learn digital design then you will be familiar with processors and then microcontrollers then we will train you on embedded c you will also learn various interfaces and peripherals and then you will understand the operating system fundamentals real time operating system and then you will be familiar with linux programming and while doing this course we will make sure that you will be familiar with the tool chains if you are going to deal with the processors arm and risk five definitely you will be familiar with the tool chains arm tool chain and risk five tool chain and uh, you should be familiar with using build system various compilers uh, make files shell scripting and you should be familiar with debug interfaces like jtag swd and uh, you should be familiar with using debuggers like gdb and uh, you should know how to use the version control software like git and uh, you should be familiar with linux system calls and device drivers and uh, you should be familiar with linux application development and then you will also be dealing with various hardware boards as i mentioned you will also do various mini projects there will be mini project for uh, every major module so mini projects for embedded c linux programming peripheral drivers and there will be a final project based on arm soc linux or iot applications and you will also deal with various real time projects as part of your internship real time iot applications for home automation retail factories and warehouse automation and there will be a special module you will have exposure to advanced wireless protocols like wifi zigbee thread and there would be interfaces like usb pcie ethernet industry experts will deliver this session you will have this exposure how to deal with various wireless protocols and advanced interfaces and that's good for your long term career 
And as part of this course, you will also have business communication module. You'll be familiar with the soft skills. We will help you to improve your communication skill, interpersonal skills. And you will also be familiar with the interview process. We will take you through mock-up interview sessions. And that's how you gain confidence to face the tough technical interviews. Let's explore the project flow. While doing the final project, you will explore various things. How you deal with the spec. Initially, you need to understand the specification. As part of the specification, you need to understand the microcontroller. Based on the processor, you need to understand the controller. And you also need to understand various peripherals and interfaces. Let's explore the project flow. The project will happen in various phases. You will start off with understanding the spec. Then you will define the hardware and software architecture. Then you will deal with coding, software coding, and then you will verify the software. Then finally, you will verify the system. Understanding the spec. You will understand everything about the product. To deal with the system, you need to understand the microcontroller, processor, and peripherals. And once you understand the spec very well, then you will deal with software architecture. So you will define the software flow. You will also write the pseudo code. And then you will write the software. The coding could be based on bare metal or real time operating system or Linux. In this phase, you will focus on certain important things. While coding, you need to focus on important things like how you initialize the hardware, how you configure the peripherals, how you manage the memory, and how you handle real-time constraints. You will also follow coding guidelines. And then you will design the test bench. You will write the test cases. That's how you are going to verify your software. You will also use the tool chains, debuggers. You will also use the emulators to verify the software. And then finally, you will run your software on the board. That's going to be part of software. That's going to be part of the system testing. You will run the software and check how the entire system behaves. So as part of the project, you will go through various phases. Phases like understanding the spec, defining the software flow, then writing the software, that's pretty much about the coding and then verifying the software. Then finally, you will validate the hardware system, right? That's called a product validation. As part of the product validation, you will run the software and check how the entire system works. You will have plenty of opportunities. You can be part of various companies, you can be part of various industries like semiconductors, automotive, consumer, telecommunications, industrial automation, IoT, medical devices, aerospace and defense, industrial automation, robotics. There could be various roles, roles like embedded system engineer, firmware developer or hardware software co-design engineer. All right. Some testimonials for your reference. Thank you.